Hey, what's up? It's Vince, and it's uh, Grand Turismo 1 that we got going on right here. Uh, we're going to be playing this game. Looking for um, the Mazda RX-7. I'll show you which version it is, because there's a lot of different variations of it. It's impressive to see the amount of cars for a 1997, 1998 game as well. One thing you'll notice is that a lot of them are from 96. You can tell by the Viper being only available in blue that's only 96 and 97 maybe? I think it was only 96 though. <laughs> Sabera was also introduced in 96 too. This game has a lot of stuff from 96, even though it's a 97 in Japan, 98 US game. Dismal that this selection for American stuff is quite sad. But whatever, that's what you get with a Japanese developed game. But you get impressive graphics and sound and all that for the time. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Japanese stuff and being like, oh, the handling's so much better. Here's a Finley Arc 7 Type RB Bathurst, Bathurst edition of it. That's what it is. There was another one in like the later Grand Turismo that you'll see. It's yellow. And we're on a special stage route 5, by the way. One thing that really stands out is that um, the fun level of it. Just playing the game has a very nice feel to it. You, you gotta really play it to experience it. It's very art. It has an arcade yet simulation feel to it, and that's mostly in the braking and turning mechanic that lets the back step out and make it more of a joyride. I guess that's what makes it similar to the uh, arcade game that came out in 94 that they had before this. Plus the music is more fun too. I'm trying to post it with it. And believe it or not the AI actually puts up a fight in this one as opposed to the other games where they just are so laid back. They actually have catch up on this game. Whereas I think they, they don't have it in Gran Turismo 2. And then 3 are like cheap. Same with 4. 5, the, the top guy catches up, but that's about it for uh, driver AI. Same with 6. It's probably more of a dynamic in 7, which is a uh, sport. I like the uh, RX-7 in this game simply because of the way it handles and it's got a nice smooth characteristic to it. It's definitely a more handling oriented car whereas the GTR is more of a monster, the Acura NSX is a mid-engine. The Mitsubishis are all four-wheel drive so they're kind of like GTRs in a way but they have either a four-cylinder or a V6 it's got a different engine profile whereas the Skyline just frevs out the Super can't handle but it's got a lot of straight line speed though unless you have like a race car with a lot of downforce Yeah, 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 tried to get me at the end. You see that time lapse on there. I was trying to cut him off. 
because that NSX shoots by with 10 extra horsepower that it supposedly has. Makes a big difference in, this, in the game where there's no real air, I guess. That way it creates more drag, whereas the, the newer games after this seem to have that. Because it's very easy to do 200 in this game. Another thing to like is the immediate replay transition. So no editing, <laughs> no editing for me, Just straight to the replay, which is good. Gives you another perspective for how advanced this game is for 1997-1998. It's playing Test Drive 5 and it doesn't have the level of detail that this game has really. I mean the only games that have this level of detail are just like... Maybe like Tomb Raider. Uh, that's about it. But the pop-ins are pretty uh, se seamless, even though it's noticeable, it's pretty seamless for this game. It makes it feel like you're actually in a world instead of a loading world. And these replays do really good justice for it. Just the pop-ins are very well timed to make it seem very lifelike. Whereas our games you feel like you're going to see like a hundred feet and then that's the end of the world. For uh, PS1 era stuff. One thing that did fail these tracks is that the time, as time goes on, it feels like they're very dated, like they're stuck in the past. But they are signature to the series and very unique and have their own experience. You can race them forwards and backwards. The best error like of these tracks is like when Gran Turismo 3 dropped. And I've done a Gran Turismo 3 video in the past where like nothing could touch it. Not, not, even, not even like three, early 360 games could touch it. Or early PS3 games could touch it. It's only Gran Turismo bettering itself that could touch it. Which would be like 4 or the 5 prologue or the concept stuff. So. JDM cars rule in this game. King of the streets. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe for more content. If you want to see more of this particular game or any other game in the series, then uh, let me know. Other than that, I'm going to keep on rolling. And I might do some more videos of this game because it's a unique game. Uh, see ya.